you are on the rant couch where I rant about whatever my $10 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Nicholas Stats, who says, Rant about the negatives of some of your favorite anime. Kaon, Ava, Psychopath Season 1, Shirobako, Ponyo, etc. Essentially figuring out the bad aspects of the shows you might find kind of perfect in your head. Of course, nothing is perfect. Um, okay, so... <laughs> the, the negatives of uh, Kaon... I would say that the the second season has a few episodes that just are like I don't know, not that amazing. Like in making it 26 episodes long, I think that that was the right thing to do cuz you got to spend a lot of time with the characters and it improved the impact of certain episodes. But it also means that there are some episodes that are I guess skippable where like if I was rewatching the show again and again, there are probably some episodes I just wouldn't even bother with in the second season. Um, but, uh, you know, I'd have to really get to that point, and I don't even know. Maybe I wouldn't skip them, because, like, they're not bad. They're just, like, not incredible, I guess. Um, this is me reaching to have a complaint about K-On. Um, Evangelion has more obvious issues, such as all the animation reusage in certain places, of uh, the, like, just, you know, places where... Obviously, they had to compromise for some reason or another, uh, in particularly the second half of the show. The last two episodes, which I think are a great historical artifact and something everybody should watch, and um, are great, but also are dog shit. Um, Psychopaths has the issue of it doesn't really explore its world enough. I think that... The themes of the story um, only really like come home when you think about the idea that the, the world of psychopaths is supposed to be like happy. Like it is supposed to be a, a you know, it's a dystopia, but an effective dystopia looks like a utopia to the people inside of it. And I think it does too poor of a job of establishing why people have allowed the world to become the way that it is by, like, showing us what their everyday lives are like and, like, how happy they are. I think it fixates too much in the early episodes on, you know, just stories about fairly similar psychopaths. You know, maybe if they had just added a few more episodes in or if the second season hadn't sucked complete dick, they could have done more to establish the setting. Um, but that's my biggest complaint about Psychopaths. Shirobako can be, like, honestly too dense at times. I think that there are places where the impact of certain scenes doesn't come off as strongly as it could because the show is always tense. So it's just, like, the high stress of the show almost keeps anything from having, like, a really firm peak or valley. Also, the audio mixing of the show is kind of annoying. But that's just me. And Ponyo, I would say that it ends rather abruptly. And the scene with the old lady, like, trying to stop Sosuke and Ponyo, I remember I didn't like it at first, but on rewatching it, I was fine with it. I guess I would just say that, like, Ponyo kind of loses energy as it goes towards the end. And, I mean, literally and figuratively, like, the character loses energy and kind of deflates. And then the, the resolution just kind of wraps up and then it's like all at once, here's Ponyo and Sosuke back together. Okay, bye, movie's over. You know, it's like, I guess they don't get to have like a moment together that's like a really strong solidification of like, you know, like they have the last moment where they're looking each other in the eyes at the end, but like it just kind of happens. There's not any like lead up to it or, you know like, final moment with these characters that would really bring home the 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 feelings of the movie. You know, it kind of it just ends. And uh, I think that's a big part of what makes people not love it the way I do, is that, like, if you're kind of waiting for it to build up to something, it doesn't feel like it does that, you know? Uh, but that's a pretty minor complaint. Otherwise, you know, those shows are all fucking great. So what more can I say? Uh, they're all 10 out of 10, and these flaws are negligible.